Hello everybody, Jake here for FM Scout. Welcome to the video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some of the best young goalkeepers in FM21. I'm going to be picking out 10 goalkeeping wonder kids that you guys should keep your eyes on in your football manager saves. Now, if you've watched any of my videos before about this kind of thing, when I talk about wonder kids, I always preface it by saying these wonder kids can do well giving game time and all that stuff. But it all depends on how they are in your save. For example, my save might be different to your save. In my save, a player could do worse than your save. He could do really well. There are many determining factors to these kind of things in Football Manager. But for the 10 goalkeepers I'm picking for today's video, I've picked them with the idea that these are the ones that are most likely to go on to do well if given the right amount of game time. So if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps us push these videos out to more people. Comment down below which goalkeeper is your favourite so far in FM21. And we are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers on the channel. We're getting so close now. So if you aren't subscribed, then it would be a big help if you do hit that subscribe button too. So let's get into the first goalkeeper on the list. And that guy is Stefan Bayek from the French Leagues, from Saint Etienne. He is in their second team, I believe, right now. But this guy is a great prospect and has been in Football Manager for the last few years. Now, goalkeepers are quite hard to develop compared to some other positions because obviously if you've got like a young left winger, you can bring him into matches every now and then, start him off slowly with game time. Whereas with goalkeepers, you kind of have to just thrust them into the team. So if goalkeepers don't live up to their potential, it's usually because they never got the right amount of game time at the right ages. Because obviously it is very hard to take away the goalkeeper in your team who's 29 and in his prime to replace him with a young kid who you don't even know if he's going to do well. But with that being said, Stefan Bayek, the French international goalkeeper, is a real talent and near enough always does pretty well. I mean, like worst case scenario, he plays in goal for Saint Etienne, which isn't bad at all because they're not a bad team in the French league. And I think with a little bit of development, he'd be good enough for first team football already. Maybe not for Saint Etienne, but for a club in the lower leagues, maybe. He just needs to be given that chance to shine. His highlight here is his aerial reach. He's only six foot two, but he has quite a high aerial reach. Other than that, his best attribute seems to be reflexes and his one-on-ones and everything else you've probably got to develop because he's not the finished package yet, Stefan Bayek, and you'll notice that with most of the goalkeepers on this list. But he can develop into a really good goalkeeper given some game time. I mean, he's got good physicals already, really, for a goalkeeper, but it's clear to see he does need quite a big improvement. Maybe you can bring him in as a backup goalkeeper and train him until he's ready, but I think Stefan Bayek is a very good goalkeeping option in terms of players that can progress. So that is the first player in the list, and now let's move on to the next one. Before we start talking about this player, I'd just like to say the link to my channel will be in the description. If you want to check that out, feel free. We're pushing quite close to 600 subscribers now, so if you want to go over there and check out the Chelsea save we've got going on, then feel free. But this guy, Diego Costa, is an absolute beast. Now, every time I say his name, I say Diego Costa, but it is Diogo, Diogo Costa, the Portuguese international playing for Porto. This guy is very good and at the least in the future ends up being Porto's goalkeeper, which is not bad at all. Obviously, Porto are usually a Champions League, Europa League kind of team. He's already got some very good stats. His physicals are on a nice level. His mentals are actually quite good already at the age of 20. And his goalkeeping stats are getting there too. Obviously, he will need a bit of time. But he is further along in his development than Stefan Bayek is, and you can see that by the fact that he is wanted by Real Madrid. Obviously not to replace Courtois or anything like that, but maybe they want him as a backup goalkeeper. He is only six foot one, so his height might be an issue, but he's definitely one of them ones where his game is more focused on the reflexes side. But he's definitely got the potential to go far, has already played a few games for Porto, and I assume is going to get many more games as this save progresses. We're right at the start of Football Manager here. I haven't even advanced one day, but I can guarantee you within a year or so, he's getting game time for this Porto team. So again, he could be the kind of player that you bring in as a backup. I mean, if you have the money to get him for, say, a championship level team, I think he'd be a very good goalkeeper for that level and has the potential to be a top level goalkeeper for sure. Unlike some of the others, he's further along in his development, so there's less room for him to grow. But you can see he's already molded into a decent level goalkeeper already. So whilst his ceiling might not be as high, he hasn't got as much chance to fail as some of the other goalkeepers do. But on the complete opposite end of the scale, we've got Alejandro Iturbe here from Atletico Madrid is playing in the under 19s and he's only 16 years old with Spanish international and needs a lot of work but again he has one of the better potentials in the game in terms of goalkeepers on FM21 and that's probably due to his young age meaning you can mold him and train him over time and given the right training he can definitely turn into a very very handy goalkeeper. The best thing about Iturbe in my opinion is the fact that he's already six foot four now Obviously, you can't train someone's height, so that's always something good to have because it means you don't have to worry about that in his development. 
Obviously, everywhere else, he does need improvements. That doesn't need to be said, really. He's not the best goalkeeper at all right now. But again, like I say, 16 years old, only valued at £28,000. It might be a good idea to try and steal him, maybe keep him in your youth teams, and then eventually, if you give him the right training, he can definitely develop into a first-team goalkeeper candidate. And if you give him some game time early enough in his career, he'll definitely be good enough for some of the top level teams too. Moving on to arguably one of the best young goalkeepers in the game this year, Manuel Gasparini from Udinese. He's in their under 20 teams, the Italian international. And at the age of 18, he's got a very high ceiling because he starts off with some very good stats already. Six foot three, which is obviously not bad at all for a goalkeeper. Maybe could be a little taller, but no goalkeeper's perfect, I suppose. His goalkeeping stats again need a bit of work, but his reflexes are already very high, as is his positioning attribute, and some of his mental stats are looking okay too. Again, another one who's going to need training, he's going to need development. You're going to notice this in a lot of goalkeepers. But Manuel Gasparini is one of the more safer bets in terms of a goalkeeper that can develop into a top-level goalkeeper. Because this guy is already very good and his potential is very high compared to most other goalkeepers. So Manuel Gasparini, if you can get him, I think he can be your backup goalkeeper and then he'll set you up in the long term to have a number one for years to come. Now the next goalkeeper we're looking at, whilst he isn't my favourite on the list, we'll get to my favourite later, he is the one with the highest potential that I have found and that is Martin van der Voort of Genk. He was a big thing on FM20, he's a big thing in FM21 too. Not the tallest but he's already got very good physical stats, really good goalkeeping stats for his age too, the Belgian goalkeeper. On my FM20 saves he went on to be Liverpool's goalkeeper in the long run and I think he's probably got that potential again in this football manager because his attributes are already extremely good, his communication is brilliant for his age, reflexes, one-on-ones and kicking, all very good. Of course he can develop further at only the age of 18, which is a really exciting thing. And the fact that with only one attribute increase in one-on-ones and communication that he'd have two green stats on himself already before the age of 19 is fantastic. So Martin van der Voort is one of the best, if not the best goalkeepers in terms of potential in FM21. So if you can get your hands on him, again, you're set up for the long run. And I don't think he'll cost you too much money either. Just halfway through our list now, and Matthias Donnelly, the Brazilian goalkeeper from Corinthians, is the only goalkeeper left that isn't playing in Europe in this list. And the benefit of that is that you can get him cheaper than most of the other goalkeepers on this list. And when you compare him to another 18-year-old in van der Voort, you can see that he's not at that level yet, and he probably won't reach the same levels that van der Voort does. But Matthias Donnelly, in terms of a budget option, already has some good stats that can make him very, very good in the long run. His decision attributes, handling attributes, and his reflex attributes are all at a pretty high level for an 18-year-old. I wouldn't expect this guy to be like Brazil's number one goalkeeper in the future, but I think he'll still be a very good goalkeeper for maybe lower level Premier League teams. And despite his height, he can make a very good goalkeeper. Obviously, we've been given 13 determination on him here. If that was even higher, obviously he'd have a higher chance of reaching his potential. But he can be mentored, he can be trained. And I think by the age of 21, 22, this guy could be a decent goalkeeper option for some of the higher level teams. Next, we're looking at the Manchester City goalkeeper, Mickey Van Sass. The Dutch international, only 16 years old, is being tipped as the world's best goalkeeper in the future. And in Football Manager 21, he's been given very high potential too, with some really good stats straight off the bat. His reflexes are very good. This seems to be the mould of most young goalkeepers nowadays. His handling is good too, as is his concentration. He has a 15 tendency in punching out, which is interesting, but notably he's only 5 foot 10, which I know for a lot of people that would be like the deal breaker in terms of a goalkeeper. But he can get taller, obviously. Young players do seem to grow a couple of inches between the ages of like 16 and 18 sometimes. So maybe he'll hit that six foot mark. But still, it looks like he's going to be a goalkeeper on the smaller side, which could hinder him in the long run. But I think the fact that his stats are already so high suggests to me that he's a different kind of goalkeeper. Maybe not a command in the area, grabbing the ball from corners kind of goalkeeper, but more a agile goalkeeper who gets down and makes lots of close range saves although whether a goalkeeper's height in football manager really matters is to be debated but he does look very good at the age of 16 attributes wise so with a good bit of development a good bit of mentoring and hopefully a little bit of growth too maybe you have to give him some milk so that he grows tall and then I think he'd be a brilliant goalkeeper for you and for the Dutch national team too this guy was born in 2004 which doesn't seem real 
but it is. So yeah, Mickey Van Sass is one of the best young goalkeepers on the game and in the real world too, if reports are to be believed. So if you can get your hands on him, if you can pry him off Man City, you could be set for the long run. Even with a little small goalkeeper like him, he can still do a very good job. We already had a young Italian goalkeeper in Gasparini and Alessandro Russo is another young Italian goalkeeper who fits a similar mould. He's playing for Antella on loan from Sassuolo and at the age of 19 is a bit further along in his development than some of the goalkeepers on this list and you can see that through his stats. His potential isn't as high as some of the others as you would expect as he's a bit older but with a 6 foot 4 height and really good physical attributes, really nice mental attributes too and really nice goalkeeping attributes I think he's very much an all-round goalkeeper with nice handling too actually Vera, I didn't notice that. And he's, yeah, he's very much all round and he's just got a lot of potential to be, I'm not going to say a world beater kind of goalkeeper, but he could definitely be a good backup or a solid Premier League level goalkeeper if developed right. Now the key here, like I do keep saying, is developed right in goalkeepers because most of the times goalkeepers under the age of 20, you're not going to see any green stats, none of real importance anyway, maybe on a regen or two you might get them. But from the ones that start off in the game, it's very hard to find high-level goalkeepers at a young age. But with some but with some attributes on 12, some on 14, some on 11, he's made a really good basis here, Alessandro Russo, to build on to actually become a very, very good goalkeeper. And his mental attributes will hopefully help him along them tracks. Second to last goalkeeper in the list now, and we're one away from my favourite. And I spoke about it being hard to find green stats in a young goalkeeper. Well, this guy is 20 years old. It's Matej Kovar from Manchester United, but currently on loan at Swindon. The Czech goalkeeper has three stats that are green. Now he's got determination 17, jumping reach 16, and aerial reach 17, and is six foot four tall. I think Swindon have got themselves a bit of a bargain here with this guy because he looks very, very good. And if we look at his contract, it's actually expiring in 2022. So in a couple of seasons, this guy will be available on a free. So maybe Manchester United will be willing to sell if you can put a bid in for him. But the fact that someone like Swindon, I don't know what league they're in. Is it League One? Yes, League One. And I'm no, no offence to Swindon here, but that looks like a very good goalkeeper to me. His physicals look really nice and he would be suited to those lower levels, I suppose, with his physical stature. But I mean, his mentals could do with a bit of work. His determination will hopefully helping along in his development and his goalkeeping stats are pretty nice too in terms of the levels he can reach in one of my five years in the future saves he was actually playing first team football consistently for Newcastle in the Premier League so that kind of shows you the level that he can reach but personally I think he's already a very good goalkeeper maybe I've judged it wrong I feel like Swindon might have the best goalkeeper in League One for themselves right now let's go have a look at that actually if we go to League One and then go to Season preview, media dream 11. Okay, he's not actually in there. Apparently the best goalkeeper is this guy, Yakola. And let's be honest, Kovar is not far off him at all, really. It's probably only this guy's reflexes that are dragging him up. But you can see, this is a 33-year-old who's been capped for Finland. And we would say that Kovar looks just as good as him already. You can imagine by the age of 23-24, this could be a very well all-rounded goalkeeper. I wouldn't be surprised if he's Manchester United's bench goalkeeper in the future. Who knows? But just a very good, promising prospect who I think, if you can get your hands on him like Swindon did, you'll have got yourself a very, very good deal. And now my favourite goalkeeper on the list for the final player we're talking about, and it's Ilan Melier from Leeds, the 20-year-old French international, already classed as a two-and-a-half star sweeper-keeper, and in my five years to the future save, he had almost 50 caps for France at the age of 24-25, so he was doing really well for himself. You can see he's classed as a wonder kid, he's six foot five, 17 aerial reach, 16 reflexes, 16 anticipation, jumping reach, agility, all at an extremely high level. This guy is one where you can't really fail. If you signed him even as one of the best teams, he would be your goalkeeper for, for pretty much until he retires. He's absolutely fantastic. Leeds have got themselves a very good player here. I don't know whether he's from their academy. I don't know much about Leeds, I've got to admit. Okay, no, they brought him from Lorien for 5 million. And Leeds have got themselves a steal there because what an absolutely fantastic goalkeeper this guy is. He's been playing in goal for Leeds in real life ahead of Kika Casilla, I believe. He's keeping up with a goalkeeper who's played for Real Madrid at already the age of 20. And you can see why, because his attributes are absolutely amazing. So if you've got some money spare and you need a goalkeeper, try and poach Melier off Leeds. And you're, you're going to be sorted for the long run. France is one of the best international teams in the game and in the world in real life, full of such good young talent. And the fact that this guy can pick up 50 caps and in FM21 is the successor to Hugo Lloris in that international team 
shows just how high level this guy is. We talk about the French internationals like Camavinga and Mbappe, this like youthful talent they've got coming through. And Melier is one of them that we should be classing as this golden generation for France. So yeah, if you can get him, you're sorted. And coincidentally, he is the last Wonder Kid goalkeeper in the list. So if you have enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. We're going to be doing a lot of videos like this on the channel for each position so that when you load up a save, if you decide you want to sign a right back, let's say, there'll be a video for some of the best right back Wonder Kids in the game. We'll have left backs. We've already got goalkeepers here. You're going to see a lot of videos like this. So hopefully you'll be given as much information as possible going into your saves. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I know goalkeepers aren't as exciting to look at as some other players. It's very hard to find young goalkeepers with as excellent attributes as Melier has here. But we can only show you the players that the game has produced for us and with the potentials that they've picked. So that was 10 of the best Wonder Kid goalkeepers in FM21. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment under the video. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video guys. I've been Jake for FM Scout and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.